Let's talk about things I love from Asia. One, being my dad. My dad's from Japan, and I love my dad. My favorite lure designer, Hiroshi Nishine, also from Asia. We're lucky to have him. Gin ramen, I love gin ramen. <sighs> spicy though, very spicy. Lucky money, who doesn't want lucky money? But there's one thing that's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, very bad, and could be detrimental to our wildlife in North America. And that is the grass carp. Woo! I love seaweed from Asia, but this fish loves seaweed from North America. And let me tell you why that could be bad. Bad, 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 very bad. At first glance, the grass carp might appear cute, slightly beautiful, but don't be fooled. The grass carp is a sumo wrestler in a fashion model's wardrobe. And did you know this sumo fish is an eating machine? The grass carp can consume up to 40% of its own body weight in aquatic plants every day. The average grass carp is 25 kilograms. So that's like eating 12 large pizzas a day or 143 cups of lettuce or 48 cheeseburgers. And it poops most of it back out into the environment. And what does that mean? More fertilizer for more algae. More algae, more problems. No oxygen, can't solve them. Oxygen depleted environments created by the grass carp kill off all the species we love, including perch, crappie, walleye, muskie. The list of species that could be affected is endless. I hope you get this dark picture, but not all hope is lost. If you catch one or see one, here's what to do. Call this number 1-800-563-7711 or email info at invadingspecies.com or report it via EDD maps.org slash Ontario. Work your way through the ID sheet at asiancarp.ca. When IDing the grass carp, the things to look for are the eyes are in the middle of its head, it has no barbels, it has a short dorsal fin, and the scales are big with dark borders. Next step, if your fish matches features of the grass carp, take good pictures of the grass carp and try to find the best lighting you can possibly find. If you can, on your smartphone, drop a pin of where you caught it from and note your geographic location. Lastly, once you're certain it is indeed a grass carp, do not release the grass grass carp kill the fish without damaging the head or the eyes gut the fish and keep it in a cooler and be sure to keep the head above the ice not to worry fisheries and oceans will come to you thanks to you they will be able to determine if this fish is actually fertile or sterile and help find out where this fish actually came from hopefully this helps and help people understand what they can do to help out when they catch one knowledge is power baby knowledge is power